Hello, second year. How are you today? Well, today is Wednesday, the 8th of July. And this is our last class and then you will have holidays. Yes, okay. Well, so today we are in unit, yes, unit, unit 8, yes, we are going to work on unit 8, yes, so, pay attention now, we are going to revise have, has got, present simple, present, versus present continuous, yes, um, we are going to um, introduce, I'm going to introduce conditional zero. Yes, we are going to practice conditional sentences with conditional zero. Uh, we are going to uh, revise clothes, vocabulary of clothes, vocabulary of uh, your face, body and everything. Is it clear? Well, are you ready? Good. So pay attention now. Voy a explicar tareas de las vacaciones también. Yes. Si tenés el cuadernillo, la short story también. Es muy importante, ¿sí? El tema de la short story porque tenemos en la, en los love, los love and other stories y otras historias. Y si investigas un poco, ¿qué pasa? Ahí tenés todas las historias que... Tenemos los Love, que ya los leímos. Ahora saltamos la historia de Doll y vamos a leer The Other Man. También vamos a leer las otras, pero ahora nos va a tocar The Other Man, que vas a tener que hacer el brainstorming en, eh, en casa. ¿Yes? Ok, so let's start. Let's start. Yes, because we have many things to do today. Yes, ok. Well, so pay attention now. I want you to go to look at the board. No, go. Look at the board. Yes, ok. En la foto pizarra te pongo todas las páginas que trabajamos hoy, te pongo ejemplos de condition, conditional zero, ¿sí? Ok. Acordate que todo, todo, todo tenés en, la, en los cuadritos gramaticales. Yes, ok. Well, so pay attention now. Wait a minute. Cualquier cosa que... Te digo que repases, tenés que volver a, ¿qué cosa? A mirar las clases, ¿yes? Siempre. Bueno, well, so pay attention now. I want you to go, vamos a poner la fecha on pages 93, pages 93, 94, 95, 96, and 97 from the classbook, ¿yes? With the dates. Yo voy a ir yendo y viniendo, yendo y viniendo, yes, ok, appearance, ok, this is unit 8, bye bye unit 7, hello unit 8, yes, all right, good. We are going to do the first part and then I'm going to go to the other part, yes, ok, good, 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 wait a minute, yes, put the dates in all the pages, Funny, 
es chistoso. Cuando te cuentan un chiste, ah, qué chistoso. Yes, is it clear? So notice the difference, ¿ok? Noisy, popular, quiet and relaxing. Es en las Filipinas, yes. This um, festival is in the Philippines, is in, in las Filipinas, yes. And, ok, what adjectives we could give to uh, this picture, ok? Colorful, yes, ok. Exciting, yes, ok, what else? Colorful, exciting, what else? Ok, ah, crowded, yes, crowded with a lot of people, ok. Fun, exciting and loud too, yes, loud, yes. Okay, with, with a lot of a lot of noise, yes, okay? Good. Well now you're going to listen to a visitor, yes, at this festival. Are these sentences true or false? Yes, listen and put true or false, okay? And in Argentina, do we have many festivals? Yes, for example, now the 9th of July, yes, okay. There are people who make designs, different kind of festivals, yes, okay. Hay festivales de chamamé también, for example, yes. And, and on the 25th of May, también, people um, organize different kind of festivals, yes. Uh, festival um, de la madera, de la cordina, yes, okay. Good. Do people wear special clothes or makeup? In the carnivals, in Corrientes, okay, they wear very, very colorful uh, costumes, yes, okay? So we could describe, yes, the carnivals of Corrientes and they are very crowded, they are very colorful, yes, okay, good? So let's listen. Are you ready? Okay. Track 73, Unit 8 Opener. I was in the city of Iloilo in the Philippines last month. I wanted to see the city's annual Dinagyan Festival. The festival is always on the fourth Sunday in January. It's the most famous festival in the Philippines and thousands of local people and tourists come to the city. Groups of local people wear colorful clothes and makeup. Okay, so uh, the local people, the people from there, wear a colorful clothes, yes, and makeup, yes. You can hear music everywhere and people dance through the streets. I also ate lots of local food. It was delicious. Okay, so remember to rewind it if you need to listen again, yes? Stop the video and then listen to the answers. One, false. Two, true. Three, true. Four, false. Five, false, yes? Okay. Uh, I also ate local food, yes? It was delicious, yes? Okay. And you can listen to music everywhere, yes? Okay. Well, um... Let's go to page 94, 94, yes, okay. And I want you to highlight, highlight 94 and 95, all the grammar charts and keywords. Acordate que estas palabritas tienen que estar en tu cuaderno de la A a la Z, ¿sí? Ok, que es el cuaderno de vocabulario, donde van a estar todas tus palabritas. Hoy vamos a revisar present simple, present continuous para aquellos que tenían problemas con estos tiempos. Yes, ok. Recordad que second year, yes, cada vez tenemos que ir teniendo menos problemas con los tenses, con los tiempos verbales, ok. Match the words with the photos, ok. Now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Good. Number one, you repeat after the teacher. T-shirt, two, jeans, three, top, four, sunglasses, five, jacket, repetition, six, shoes, 
seven, coat, eight, bag, bag, nine, socks, ten, trousers, eleven, shorts. Yes, you already know the clothes. This is a revision. Twelve, skirt, thirteen, belt, fourteen, suit. Y hay nuevos que se agregan a la lista. Suit, el traje. Uh, 15 dress, 16 uniform, 17 trainers, 18 scarf, yes, leggings, 19 leggings, las medias, 20 shirt and 21 tie. Y el moñito se dice bow tie, yes, la pajarita también le dicen en otros lugares, bow tie, yes. Ok, let's repeat the words, the pronunciation of shh. 24. Unit 8A. Shh. 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 Suit. Suit. Shoes. Shoes. Skirt. Skirt. Shirt. Shirt. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Shorts. Shorts. And I want you to go. Socks. Socks. Sorry, I, I, I thought it was the last one. Let's go to exercise three. And at home, you are going to answer to answer these questions as the teacher does. What clothes do you wear every day? Well, I wear um, my uniform, yes, okay. But when I, when I am not wearing my uniform, I wear uh, jeans, uh, boots, yes, um, a sweater, a t-shirt, yes, a t-shirt. But I like colorful clothes, yes. What clothes do you wear in the summer? I, in the summer, I wear dresses, shorts, yes, um, shirts, yes, um, t-shirts, yes, okay. What clothes do you wear in the winter? In winter, I wear ja a jacket, uh, a sweater, uh, boots, shoes, trainers, socks, yes, um, a coat. Yes, when do you when do men wear a suit? When there is a wedding, for example, when there is a, a very special uh, party. When do women wear a dress? Well, women like wearing dresses, yes, okay? What jobs have uniform? Well, if you are a firefighter, if you are a policeman, if you are a teacher at a private institution, yes, if you are a doctor, many jobs wear, um, a uniform those were the examples okay so um so uh when you go shopping for clothes pay attention or bags which of these things are more important for you yes i want you to tell me this okay the price the color the brand or the country it's from well uh the color uh the price also and sometimes the brand, because if you say, I pay for the brand, I suppose uh, the clothes is, uh, are, is um, the clothes you are buying is going to be good quality. So you say brand, a good brand is the same as good quality. You are paying for the quality. Yes. Um, what else? I wanted to say something else. Okay. Um, well, that's all. Yes, okay, what do you think at home, yes? When you buy something, you, you, you think about the price, the brand. Uh, no, I want this because this come from uh, the United States and they are good quality. They make good quality products, for example. Yes, okay. Um, well, let's go to exercise six. Yes, let's go to exercise six. Are you there? So remember two, solve, read, global fashion. Yes, and then complete fashion designer, local workers, and wrist. Yes, okay, the two women in the photo are making bags. They work from the company, blah, 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 in the Philippines. Philippine. Uh, Ruth Reese uh, is co-founded the company in, in 2007 to help workers, mainly women, in the Philippines. Yes, the company gives them jobs with a good salary. Uh, is also uh, the place rags to riches is um, also an environmentally friendly company it means that it's good for the environment yes because it's made new fashionable bags from old uh, 
unused materials. So they are um, environmentally friendly, se le dice, a todas las cosas that are good for uh, the environment, yes? If you have a company and if you we use materials or if you use uh, recycled materials, uh, you are, you become a friendly, um, environmentally friendly um, a company, yes, okay? So uh, it's growing, yes, it has, nowadays it has more workers and uh, they are training more, yes, uh, they have five shops and one shop online, yes, and they sell bags, yes, okay? Um, the company works with different well-known designers, yes, for example, Rafa Laurel, normally he designed clothes for the rich and famous, but at the moment he is designing some new bags for this company. So that is very nice, yes, because uh, they give uh, work for, to women, to, to women in Philippines, you know, they need the job. They are also, they give the job to women, yes. Um, they are environmentally friendly, they are an environmentally friendly company, yes. Apart from that, um, the bags are uh, well um, designed because they are not only designed by, by them, but they are also designed by a famous designer who designs clothes, yes, for rich, but in this case, he's helping this company and uh, he's designing for the company too. Co-founded, yes, co-found, sorry, co-found, not co-founded, co-found, start a company with other people yes okay so it is a co-found um, company number one Reese number two local women three local women and four fashion designers yes okay and here we are going to stop yes for a minute and we are going to go to uh, some pictures we have prepared for you Wait a minute. Okay. So pay attention. So what do you use present simple? Present simple, responde en casa por favor. Present uh, continuous for things we are doing now. Yes, you form with the subject. Um, R O is plus the verb with ing, isn't, aren't, ya sabes eso. Present simple for routine, yes, ok. ¿Y qué particularidad tiene? Sujeto más verbo, muy bien. Pero si estamos hablando de he, she o it, el verbo que llevaba lleva la s, más complemento. Auxiliar de present simple do o does. Ok, ya sabes, para he, she, it, usamos más. But this is a present continuous, things we are doing now. I am eating a cake, I am recording the classes, you are watching the classes, yes. My mother and my father are um, drinking coffee now, yes, ok. Now at this moment, yes. Are you drinking coffee now? Is your mother drinking mate now? Yes, she is. No, she isn't, yes. What is she doing? What is she doing? She is drinking mate. Where is she drinking mate? She's drinking mate in the kitchen. Yes, and then you have my mother drinks mate, my mother gets up, my mother cooks every day. And this is present simple activities we are doing now. Yes, okay? And you don't have to forget that you have he, she or it with S. She drinks mate, she cooks a cake. Y tenemos los adverbios de present simple que eran la clase always, never, often, sometimes, yes, etc. Y cuando ponemos una W question, WH más auxiliar, más sujeto, más verbo. Where do you study? Where does she drink mate? How often does she cook? She always cooks. Is it clear? Good. So let's uh, have a look at the pictures there. Okay. 
You already know him. This is that pool. Yes. So every day, every day, that pool dances. Yes. Every weekend, that pool dances. Yes. He doesn't read letters every Sunday. He doesn't read letters every Sunday. Does that pool run quickly every day? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. That pool at this moment, this is what he do. Yes, what he does every day. And at this moment, that pool is writing a letter to his boy, his girlfriend. That pool isn't listening to music. Yes. Loudly. I know for me, we two. Is that pool jumping at the moment? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? So at this moment, he's listening to music. Is he jumping at this moment? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. The pool is writing a letter now. Yes, he's listening to music. He's taking a photo. Yes? Okay? Good. Wait, to pause. Good. Tony Stark uses his computer every Monday, but now he's fighting against Captain America. Tony Stark doesn't work slowly every week, but now Tony isn't flying carefully. He isn't flying carefully. He is flying very fast. Does Tony Stark watch TV every weekend? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Is Tony sleeping at the moment? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. ¿Ok? Entonces, hoy te tiene que quedar claro. Present simple, present continuous. Estamos haciendo una revisión de estos tiempos verbales. ¿Ok? Always, never, sometimes, usually, often. ¿Ok? Lo, más, lo que más claro te tiene que quedar es cuando haces las questions. Do you get up every day? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does your mother cook pasta? Does she cook pasta? Does she watch TV? Does your father read a book? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do your parents watch TV every weekend? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Is it clear? What do they do? What do they do? They watch TV. When do they watch TV? They watch TV at the weekend. What time do they watch TV? They watch TV at 7 o'clock. Yes? Where do they watch TV? They watch TV in bed. Yes? Entonces, doble B, auxiliar, sujeto, B. Yes? And what is Tony Stark doing now? He is fighting against his enemies. Yes? Cerramos un ratito esto. Voy a explicar algo ahora antes de seguir, porque quiero que lo hagan súper, 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 súper mega archi a conciencia. ¿Yes? Pero antes, ¿yes? Pero antes, ¿yes? What do you do? ¿Yes? This is conditional, conditional number zero. How do you form conditional number zero if plus Present plus present. Okay? If you study, if you study, you pass the exam. If you pass the exam, your mom is very happy. If you pass the exam, your parents are happy. If your parents are happy, puedo ponerle bam porque así your mom is happy. Sí, porque así ven, van a notar la S de present simple y acá se van a dar cuenta que
que los tiempos verbales son la base para armar otras estructuras. Yes, your mom uh, is happy. If your mom uh, is happy, she buys, she buys you a PlayStation, a PlayStation, yes, ok, entonces, este es el condicional cero que se forma if plus present plus present, si haces tal cosa, pasa tal otra, if you study, you pass your exam, if you pass your exam, your mom is happy, if your mom is happy, she buys you the PlayStation, a PlayStation, yes, ok, Is it clear? So this is conditional zero, all right? Yes, good. ¿Qué quiero que hagas ahora? En tu carpeta vas a escribir tres ejemplos, así que, que sean todos relacionados, yes? Uno con if you, y otro con if your mom, if your dad goes to work, If your friends, vamos a poner más divertido, if your friend comes to your house, you play the PlayStation. Yes? If you play the PlayStation, You don't do the homework. If you don't do the homework, yes. Estos ejemplos, escribílos en tu carpeta. If you don't do the homework, your mom gets angry with you. Gets angry. With you, ¿ok? ¿Es it clear? Entonces, si haces algo, pasa tal cosa. Si voy, si hago, si repaso, si hago la tarea, yes, paso el curso. ¿Está? ¿Es it clear? Ok. Ahora, otra cosa que voy a explicar con respecto a la tarea. Esto quiero que quede muy súper recontra mega archiclado. Después seguimos con las pages que nos quedan del classbook. Cuadernillo. Del cuadernillo vamos a hacer las páginas. Eh, me voy a ir a otra de las páginas que quiero darle súper importancia. La 30, 32, 32 y 33. Quiero que la hagan súper mega archi a conciencia. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? No muestro tanto porque tengo que... Tengo mi, pues ya ha hecho mi tarea. 32 y 33. ¿Y qué vamos a practicar en la 32 y 33? Hacer preguntas. Tenemos preguntas en presente, presente simple, there is there are, yes. Present simple, pasado, yes. Is it clear? Entonces. Si yo pongo acá, root is sad, y marco root y marco la palabra sad. A. ¿Quién está triste? Voy a preguntar, who is sad? Root. How? Root is? No. No, 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 no. How is root? ¿Está? Ese es el error común, que no nos acordamos el orden de las preguntas. ¿sí? Si yo hago una pregunta con there is, there are. There are three museums in London. In London. A, B. Ok, three museums. ¿Qué tengo que preguntar si me dice tres museos? ¿Cuántos? Muy bien. How... 
many museums are there? No, there are, porque generalmente ya podemos comer museums, there are. Are there? There are three, sería la respuesta. Where are there three museums? Está in London. Eso con respecto a cuando me salen diferentes preguntas. Después puede haber una pregunta, después va a haber otras que son fáciles, que dicen yes, I do. Y para eso directamente pones cualquiera con do. Do you cook every day? Yes, they do. Do your parents watch TV at home? Yes, at night. Después voy a poner una. Uh, Mary likes um, jumping. Mary. Bien. Who likes? ¿Por qué pongo la S? Porque estoy preguntando a quién le gusta. Y cuando yo pregunto who, ya va conjugado el verbo. Porque estoy preguntando sobre el sujeto. Acá no va W auxiliar sujeto y verbo. ¿Está? Who likes fishing, jumping? B. ¿Qué le gusta? Bueno. What. Y acá voy a tener en cuenta esto. W más auxiliar. Más sujeto, más verbo, más complemento. What, muy bien. Does, porque estoy hablando del presente simple. Pienso la auxiliar de cada tiempo. Does, ahora viene sujeto, Mary, verbo, like. ¿Qué le gusta hacer? Después del like va el verbo con, muy bien, ing. What does Mary like doing? ¿Está? Pero si no respetamos el orden de las preguntas, no vamos a poder hacer nunca bien este trabajo. Y lo primero que voy a decir, ay, no, no entiendo nada, ay, esto lo odio, ¿está? A una en presente conti eh, continuo, yes. My parents are eating paella. Pongo ahí, my parents are... B y C. ¿Para qué sirve este ejercicio? ¿Para mortificarlo? No. Para que vos aprendas el orden de las preguntas y puedas preguntar correctamente. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Who are eating pa, 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 era? My parents. Ahora, are eating. Están comiendo. Yo tengo que preguntar qué están haciendo. What, W, am, are, we, are, my parents, sujeto, Verbo, doing. What are my parents doing? They are eating. C. Paella. ¿Qué están comiendo? Muy bien. What am I Sujeto, my parents eating. ¿Qué están comiendo? Paella. ¿Aún ha pasado? Para que te quede el ejemplo. Bueno. Yes. Ok. El tema es que hay que mirar las clases. El que no mira las clases está ausente. Quiere decir que no vino a la clase. No están viniendo, pero quiere decir que si no miraron, no van a entender el contenido. ¿Sí? Y es muy fácil echarle la culpa a la teacher Ruth. Pero yo estoy haciendo mi trabajo. Ustedes tienen que ser responsables de ver sus clases. ¿Yes? Ok, dale. Um, Susie, Susan, ate a cake last Night at seven. Hago bien completa esta. Dale. Susan A. Eight. B. C. E. K. Last night. D. Y hago hasta la E. Dale. ¿Quién comió? Muy bien. Who ate a cake last night? Esto copió todo como está, ¿eh? Hasta las seven. Susan. ¿Qué hizo? What? Auxiliar del pasado, did, sujeto, Susan, verbo, eat, last night, se copia todo, ¿eh? ¿Qué copió? Una cake. ¿Cuándo? When, auxiliar, did, sujeto, Susan, eat, uh, at seven, le saco. ¿Cuándo comió? 
comió a las 7 la noche pasada. Le saco esa parte por la que estoy preguntando. Ahora, what time? What time did Susan eat a cake last night? A las 7. ¿Está? ¿Is it clear? Pero si vos no respetas esta, esto, no. No vas a poder hacerlo. Y la idea es que la hagas bien. ¿Está? ¿Is it clear? A ver, voy a poner otra en pasado simple. Uh, she was born in Buenos Aires. Marco Buenos Aires. Y Marco allí. Who was born in Buenos Aires? She. B. ¿Dónde? Where was, muy bien, she born? Bien, no puedo poner where she was born, porque es una pregunta. Where were you born? Where was she born? Is it clear? Yes, good, good, good. Yes, ok, te lo dejo ahí. Así vos mirás la clase y lo volvés a repetir. Yes, ok. Bueno, so I want you to go now, ahora que revisamos el present simple, vas a ir a subrayar todos los cuadritos gramaticales y vas a hacer exercise 8. Yes, exercise 8. Good, good, good. Exercise uh, 12 and 13. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good. Do it, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activity and then listen to the answer. What are you wearing now? I'm wearing black boots, pink socks, blue trousers, a red sweater, a white t-shirt, a red and white shirt with a blue belt. And what are you wearing? Yes, okay. And what is your mother wearing? My mother is wearing uh, jeans, blue jeans, white socks, blue trainers, uh, a t-shirt, a white t-shirt and a blue sweater. Yes, okay, good. Shall we go? Okay, now is the time that you stop the video and then listen to the answers. I'm shopping at the moment. We aren't working. He's holding. Isn't making. Are buying. Is designing. Okay? Con toda esta práctica y más la práctica del activity book, cuando llegan a la revisión, tienen que llegar súper pulidos. Pero si el alumno no mira las clases, hace los, las cosas que se le manda al classroom nomás y no está haciendo al, al, a, la, a conciencia todo lo que yo voy haciendo en la clase, se nota y se nota, chicos, cuando no están mirando las clases. ¿Yes? Cuando, cuando yo corrijo las actividades que hacen. 13. Yes, 12. I'm traveling. Doesn't go. She's visiting, ¿cómo nos damos cuenta si es present simple o present continuo? Con los adverbios. Likes, is going, doesn't go, is working, comes, 13. Are you there? 1D, 2A, 3E, 4B, 5C. ¿Ok? Good. Can we go to page 96 and 97? 96 and 97. La explicación para hacer las páginas 32 y las páginas 33 la tenés en la video class. Así que me estás llevando a tu casa. No es que viniste a la clase y dices, ay, no me acuerdo cómo explicó la teacher esto, no voy a poder hacerlo. Lo tenés en el video. Así que tiene que estar perfecto. Y le tenés que sacar el cubo a esos ejercicios. ¿Está? Yes, good. Well, uh, I want you to look at the pictures now. Yes, okay, pay attention. Okay, so you have Paulo Londra, Billie Eilish, Blackpink, yes, Blackpink, Sebastián Yatra, Lali, and BTS. Yes, 
is Billie Eilish wearing? She's wearing white shoes. White shoes? No, white trainers, beige trousers, and a beige t-shirt. What are what are the BTS wearing? They are wearing white trainers. Yes. White socks. Yes. Are you there? Suits. They are wearing suits. Yes. And they are wearing a tie. What is um, Sebastian wearing? He's wearing brown boots. It's like a green, green trousers, a black t-shirt, and a black jacket. Yes, okay, so at home, with this picture, you can practice clothes, what's he wearing, what's she wearing. Esto es super fácil porque es tema dado, pero se vuelve a practicar siempre porque se suman más ropas. ¿Está? Yes, good, good, good. Right, so pay attention now. Acordate cuando usábamos have y has, usábamos has para he, she, it, and have para I, we, you, and they. So, uh, she is Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez is a 27 years old singer and actress. She's from the USA. She has got a round, white face, small brown eyes, small nose, a small mouth, She has got long black hair. Bueno, igual ahí tenía un poquitito más short también, ¿eh? Porque um, no tiene tan long, digamos. Yes? She's short and thin. Yes? Ok, ahora no sé cómo lo está llevando. Yes? Ryan Reynolds is a 43 years old uh, famous actor. He's from Canada. He has got a normal white face, small brown eyes. He has got a long nose, small, small mouth, yes. He has got, um, what's that? Ahí te pongo para que lo veas. Black beard, yes, okay. Black beard. And um, short brown hair. He's tall and thin. Is it clear? Good. So this is a description, yes, of the main character. Yes, ok, así puedes, así vas a hacer vos porque tenés bastantes uh, writings. La idea es ir haciendo poco a poco lo que es la tarea que tenés para las holidays. ¿Es it clear? Good. Well, so let's go very quickly to, uh, I want you to highlight, quiero que subrayes todas estas palabras, arm, bear, foot, hair, hands. ¿Sí? Y vuelvas a subrayar el cuadrito de qué cosa. Yes, de have o has got. Yes. Good. Well, uh, arm, bear, eye, foot. Yes, foot. Wait a minute. en casa. Beard. 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 Yes. Beard. Beard. Yes. That is the pronunciation. ¿Vos no te acordás cómo pronunciar algo? A ver, vamos a buscar otra. Shoulder. Y vas a hacer esto en casa. Esta es la solución para cuando vos tenés un, alguna duda. Shoulder. 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 A ver, no sé cómo pronunciar. Beard. Beard. Y lo tenés que poner directamente. Y lo tenés súper fácil. Lo tenés que ir al diccionario. Mirá. Beard. 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 Yes. Beard. Ok. ¿Es clear? 
Yes, so uh, Ryan Reynolds has got beard, a long beard. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good, mouth, hair, hand, head, leg and shoulder. Let's do exercise two. Yes, okay, beard, mouth, arm, legs, hair, eyes, head, ears, hands and neck. Complete the sentences there. Okay, number one, hair, eyes, beard, beard, mouth, Head, ears, hands, neck, arms, legs, legs, arms. Yes? Okay. Shall we go to the pronunciation there? No, perdón. Let's go to uh, the listening now. We are going to listen to a conversation, exercise five, about the two photos. Number the photos, one, two, in the order that people talk. Okay? Podéis completar, podéis completar el ejercicio 6 ya. ¿Está? ¿Es it clear? Good. De la página 97, yes? All right. Track 77, Unit 8B. I've got some photographs here from my holiday. Oh, let me see. These two are from Girona in Catalonia. The city has a big festival every year. What are they doing in this one? Oh, this is in the afternoon and they're building a human tower. I see. Why are they wearing different coloured shirts? They are in different teams. The people at the bottom put their arms around each other and other people push them forward with their hands. Then four people climb up and stand with their feet on the other people's shoulders. And then the next four go up until they have a tower. Wow! Do they ever fall down? I didn't see them fall down, but I think people on the bottom have to be strong and hold on to the other people's legs. And what's happening here? This is in the evening, and there were these dancers. They're wearing costumes, and they've all got big masks over their heads. I don't know how they're dancing. The faces are amazing. They've got huge eyes and big mouths. That's right. My favourite is this one. He hasn't got any hair. But he's got a big black beard. He was very funny. Okay, you know, a big black beard. Yes, a big black beard. Yes, okay. Beard, that is a pronunciation. Después tenés beer, de cerveza, y beard, de eh, bear, de oso. Yes, a teddy bear. Yes, bear, oso. Yes, beard, beard, barba. Yes, and beer, beer, cerveza. Yes, okay. Uh, that is uh, very nice. Yes, they are very nice. Yes, they are amazing. Yes, okay. So you can listen to it at home again. Yes, now I tell you the answers. Okay, arms, hands, feet, shoulders, legs, heads, mouths. Beards, yes, ojo ahí, eh? Beards, 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 yes, sin una S, eh? Okay, good. And then you are going to do exercises 8 and 9. Y el número 10 es una de las descripciones que tenés que hacer. Write de 50 palabras, eh, que va a estar asignado para las vacaciones. Write a short description of your appearance sobre vos, sobre tu apariencia, usando be and have got. Yes, I am, yes, mm -mm -mm, tall, cuanto me dis. I've got long black hair. I haven't got a beard. I've got blue, big blue eyes. 
Now I'm wearing, ¿ok? Solo sobre tu apariencia, no si vos haces tu rutina, bailar, cantar, no. Appearance, ¿ok? Cortita, yes, sobre appearance, ¿ok? Is it clear? Good. Um, well, so let's go to exercise eight. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, ¿ok? Good, good, good. Exercise eight. I've got two, I've got three, have got four, haven't five, got 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 nine, are they have got they have got. The man in the photo has got, he has got, ¿ok? That is all, esto es todo por, por lo de aquí del book de hoy. Voy a la explanation de la homework. Vamos a hacer, they, um, ¿ok? Así tu descripción, ¿eh? Como las que te mostramos acá, las teacher, ¿yes? ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Like this, usando el verbo to be, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Ryan Reynolds is a 43 years old famous actor. He's from Canada. He has got an oval white face, small brown eyes, a long nose, a small mouth. He has got a black beard. I don't know if I pronounced beard at the beginning. Eh? Beard. And a short brown hair. Just in case, we make the correction. Beard. He is tall and thick. Así tenés una de Selena y otra de uh, Ryan Reynolds para que la hagas. Okay? Is it clear? Good, no apago porque me voy a la homework. Um, well, this is your photo pizarra. Ahí tenés todo anotado. Las pages que vamos a hacer del uh, de homework. Vas a leer The Other Man. Vas a hacer el brainstorming. Y de las páginas de cuadernillo vas a hacer la página 3. Seven. En la seven hay un writing que tenés que escribir, que es una postal de 50 palabras. Son todas cortitos. Por eso te digo, anda haciendo de a poco, poco a poco. Porque hay para practicar, para quienes están flojos en la escritura y para quienes están flojos en la gramática. Y para los que están flojos en los dos, las dos cosas. Página 8, ¿sí? Tenés que hacer toda la página... Pero lo que yo te remarco acá es la, la, el writing que hay en esa página, ¿sí? Vamos a hacer la página 3. Al principio tenemos toda la lista de composiciones, ¿sí? ¿Entendido? De la lista tenés que hacer solamente el párrafo 1, el párrafo 1. Párrafo 1. Write a paragraph about your daily routine usando estas más words, ¿Sí? Después vamos a hacer la página 3, donde vas a practicar reading para todas las personas que estuvieron flojos en el reading. La página 7. Y ahí es donde hay un párrafo, un, una postcard. Vos tenés que hacer toda la otra parte, que es responder las preguntas con is there y are there sobre el dibujito. Yes, hay que hacer preguntas. Museum. Is there a museum? Are there any pubs? Is there a school? Are there two? Are there any churches? Ojo ahí, eh. Después en la página 8 también hay un writing. Pero no lo vas a escribir ahí. O oh, sí, lo vas a escribir ahí. Y le vas a sacar foto y me tenés que mandar al Classroom, ¿está? Va a estar todo asignado. Um, después vamos a ir a la página 32. 
y 33, que son las make questions que ya te expliqué al principio y te dejé grabado, o sea que vas a estar súper exitoso. Repasar toda la lista de verbos, ¿sí? Y de las páginas del cuadernillo, del, cuader, del activity book, las páginas 60, ejercicio 1 y 2, 61, exercises 6, 7 y 8, 62 and 63. ¿Yes? Recuerden que siempre llevamos tareas en las vacaciones para no olvidarnos y para pulir todo lo que estuvo flojo desde marzo hasta acá. ¿Yes? Happy holidays, happy winter holidays, pasalo en familia, pasalo bien y renovarte para cuando volvamos. Bye, bye, happy holidays.